Miss Angelica here, and I have my sweet Pippin with us tonight, and I have a story called A Kite for Moon. For Neil Armstrong, who showed us the way. It was morning, and moon sat alone in the sky. The stars were all abed. No one below was singing to her. No one was sending up rockets or writing poems about her. No one was taking her photograph or painting her picture. Moon began to feel terribly sorry for herself. Down below, a very small boy flying his kite on the beach near his house, looked up at the moon. Moon, he called up to her, don't be sad. And he ran as far as he could, all the way to the edge of the water where moon sat on the horizon. He tried to hug the moon and his mother, as his mother did to him, whenever he was unhappy, but Moon was too far away. So he wrote on his kite, promising to come someday for a visit. Then he let go of his kite, sending it up, up, up for the moon. Days went by, years went by. Moon waxed and waned. She counted shooting stars and meteors. She worried about peace down on earth and strange objects whizzing by. She eclipsed. Many nights, the boy watched the moon through a telescope and his father had given him when he was young. Many days, he sent up a kite for the moon. Red kites, blue kites, green kites, yellow. Some fell back to earth. Some disappeared into the sky. And moon watched the boy grow. Every day, the boy studied hard. He learned his large numbers and his small numbers. He learned algebra and equations. He learned geometry and tried to square the circle. He learned all about the sky and the moon. He learned to ride a bicycle, drive a car, fly a plane, and a rocket. Then one day, when he had learned enough, he went up, up, up in a big rocket ship with a fiery tail. Hello, Moon, he said. I have come for that visit. And the whole world watched. Snap, snapped. 